World Children's Day was first established in 1954 to promote international togetherness, awareness and improve children's welfare globally. Though celebrated by the United Nations on November the 20th to highlight the right of the child, Nigeria celebrates her Children's Day on May the 27th, offering the nation an opportunity to re-emphasize the need to protect the children, design a better future and also celebrate them. That's our focus on this week's episode of Special Report. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeffrey Uzongo. This Universal Declaration of Human Rights. November 20th, 1959 is an important date to remember. The date when the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Declaration of the Rights of the Child. It also serves as the date for the adoption of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. 30 years ago, nations joined together to make an unprecedented promise to the children of the world. They pledged not only to proclaim children's rights, but to uphold them and be accountable for them. The Convention on the Rights of the Child was a landmark achievement. For the first time, governments explicitly recognized that children have the same human rights as adults, as well as specific additional rights that recognize their special status as dependents. The Convention recognizes the child's right to health, medicine and nutrition, to clean water and sanitation, to a seat in a classroom, including for children with disabilities and children in war zones. The Convention recognizes that children have a right to protection and safety in their homes, neighborhoods and villages. They have the right to express their opinions and the right to be heard. This convention is the most widely ratified human rights treaty in history. We look forward for the day when all United Nations member states give, in, give it their full backing. Its near universal membership has created unprecedented international solidarity around children's rights. It reflects a global consensus about the role of families, communities and the state in protecting and nurturing children. The World Children's Day offers an inspirational entry point to advocate, promote and celebrate children's rights, translating into dialogues and actions that will build a better world for children. While a little over one in three of Nigeria's whole population lives below the poverty line, among children, this proportion surges to 75%. At the seat of power Abuja, President Muhammad Buhari opened up the presidential villa to children in celebration of Children's Day. Yeah. Yeah. President Buhari described children as precious blessings who should be nurtured to carry the burden of the society in the future with a promise to bequeath a better country for the present and future generations. The entire country is uh, focusing on the children to whom the future belongs. Uh, so therefore it is in line with this that uh, Mr. President uh, came out uh, joined by children selected from various schools various backgrounds, you know, to symbolically mark the day with the cutting of the cake. The president has said all of the times that all of the things that his government is engaging, whether it is in the provision of infrastructure or restructuring the economy, and, 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 and the deliberate effort to return sanity to the affairs of the country. They are all for the children. And so therefore it shouldn't surprise anyone that he has come out today fully identifying with them and uh, showing leadership to the nation on the matter. A guided tour of the president's office, meeting rooms, banquet hall, and the zoo at the presidential villa. All the children are happy because they met, they cut the cake with Babu Hari. Any children who is not around here on this special day, share, share their happiness with the world. 
I'm very happy that I have seen the president. I'm really happy to meet Mr. President I'm, and happy Children's Day to Mr. President and all his followers and I'm really happy today. Of the number one teacher in Niger State, I sincerely want to welcome you once again. About 180 kilometers away from Abuja is the Niger State capital, Mina. Children's Day celebration. Today is our day. We are celebrating the ch child today worldwide. And Nigeria is not an exception. Niger State is not an exception. And that is why we are here. And you can see. We are here to rejoice with our children on their day, to spend their day so that they should know that we have them at heart. We should feel the value. We should show them how to live in a peaceful environment. Seriously, we have been challenged with insecurity in our country. Everywhere. We pray to Almighty Allah to bring an ease to these challenges. It affects our education, sincerely. You can observe that many schools were shut down, most especially in Rapi, Shiroro, Munya, and the rest. Even we in Mina, we are not at ease. Because the security challenges you, you had, they kidnap a pupil in this school or the other. We put our own effort to support the government, the security agencies, to fight these insurgencies. You know, government and Lord cannot do it unless we put our hands together with them. We have to join hands together. If you see a certain thing in our community, in our environment, in our schools, let us expose it. Let us communicate to the government so that measures should be taken. With their motto, knowledge is light. Indeed, knowledge is light. Knowledge is light. I'm going to the primary school founded in 2001, being led by Mr. Paul Anthony. We are here to celebrate the Children's Day, which is done once in a year. By celebrating, at least it will give the children a freedom at least to mingle with some of their friends that have, they have seen for a very long time. Here the children, uh, the, maybe the commissioner or the subject chairman used to brief the children and give them some highlight of what the Children's Day is all about. The governor, Abuba Cabello, who was represented by the chairman, Niger State Universal Basic Education, Dr. Isa Damo, assured that the insecurity situation in the state will be brought under control to enable the children go back to school despite the challenges. There's insecurity in some local governments in Niger State, but we have to defeat insecurity by telling them that whatever they do, our children will still go to school. Because if you look at it, the general deterioration of education will actually continue to go deeper with the insecurity because what they are doing is to uh, frighten our children to, 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 show it, to, to tell them that we cannot come out to go to school freely but we are defeating them in spite of all our challenges in spite of all the problems we have we are here today and we are celebrating Nigerian child in our own way so a mistight security owing to the insecure nature of Zamfara State in Nigeria's northwest region. A colorful Children's Day celebration held at the Sedona Memorial Stadium in Guzo, the state capital. Over 30 schools from both the public and private schools showcased their talents. The Secretary to the State Government, Bello Balamaru, said the State Government is committed towards improving education and training of teachers in the state. Governor Bello Matawale asked that his administration will continue to work with all relevant authorities in providing adequate security in all schools. It is the conviction of His Excellency's administration that children's education deserves all attention if we are to groom our future leaders and professionals to play their future role effectively. As part 
of the efforts of the administration of His Excellency Dr. Bello Mohamed Matolle Moradun to adequately prepare you for the future. The administration has come up with more sound policies and programs that will improve your well-being and that of your parents. In accordance with the Islamic principles, this government will continue to protect your rights and keep you safe from all sorts of abuse. As we are aware, Islam despises all forms of injustice. It encourages us to live in peace with one another and to look after our brothers. Speaking on the issue of child abuse, the government insists it is not leaving any stone unturned, especially as insecurity has contributed to the rise in such acts. His Excellency, the Executive Governor hereby reminds parents and guardians that proper education of their children and wards is a social and religious responsibility. As we all know, socialization begins at home. As parents, we have the power to shape or derail our children's future. And in either event, we will answer to Allah in the hereafter. They are a gift from him to us. His Excellency also implores the teachers, who as the second most important agents of socialization, to recommit themselves to the critical mission of moral, intellectual, and spiritual development of our children. We are well aware that teaching is one of the most demanding professions, particularly in the current environment. These kids who have been introduced to you look up to you as role models. Therefore, His Excellency urges you to always demonstrate good virtues in front of your students, remembering that you will account for that trust in the hereafter. Also in the northern region is Kanu State, and this year's theme for Children's Day is in line with the devastating effect of COVID-19 on children, and especially the education. Considering the series of lockdown and long stay at home, the theme tagged Unite to Reverse the Impact of COVID-19 Pandemic on Children is said to be timely. The pandemic has several impacts, multiple impacts. The Kano state government played host to children at the government house. The state governor, Umaru Ganduje, assured that he will continue to prioritize children's education in the state, promising to take care of those whose parents died in the pandemic. There's no doubt COVID-19 pandemic has taken so many lives and has still taken lives. So those children who lost their parents, we must take care of them. It is the responsibility of all those who stakeholders. It is the responsibility of everybody. So that we put our heads together in order to ensure that those children who lost their parents either as a result of the COVID-19 or other instances, they are being given full care and sustainable aspect of their development. The Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development who organized the event are optimistic that resolutions will be reached for all-round development of children in Kano State. To reflect on the right care and educational activities of our children. Moreover, the day offers a dialogue session and action towards building a better world for our children. I must say that the impact of the pandemic on children is immediate and if not addressed on the time, may lead to a problem that will live forever. As such, it is time for generations to come together and reimagine the type of world we want to create and also think 
of a greener and more sustainable future for every child. In the same vein, UNICEF, which held a separate event, is to come up with an alternative means for learning so that the lost grounds due to COVID-19 can be regained. But what we are doing as UNICEF, collaboratively with the state government, a lot of like-minded partners, uh, civil society organization, is to ensure that we minimize the impact of COVID on these children's psychosocial well-being, but also that despite the advent of COVID, children must continue to be in school and learning. Parents and children in the epicenter of insurgency defied all odds as they converged on the multi-purpose hall of the Brownie State Government House to celebrate the children. It was an opportunity for the children to share experiences during and after the pandemic. Boys and girls, orphans and children with surviving parents celebrate. <music> Stories of the conflict, child poverty, access and resilience, especially during the year of the pandemic was reeled out. Seven months. I was not happy because there was no school. I really want to read my books, go to school and learn more things about what I don't know. I need to learn. So I was not happy. The well-being of children is key to the post-conflict recovery drive of the Boundary State Government. The COVID-19 pandemic has made life tougher for many children in all aspects of their lives. One has to heed to their protection, nutrition, as well as their education, which has made matters worse for children across the globe, and especially those in crisis-ridden areas like Borno State, which apart from the issues of child trafficking, labor, abuse of various forms, drug addiction, closure of schools and loss of livelihoods of parents, among others, were also subjected to the global pandemic of COVID-19, which has adverse effects on our children and young adults. In Jigawa State, Northwest Nigeria, children joined their counterparts across the country to celebrate this year's Children's Day. The state government has urged school children to observe COVID-19 measures to avoid contracting the virus. Addressing children at the new Sunusi Durba ground where they marked the celebration of the 2021 Children's Day, the Commissioner for Women Affairs, Hajia Yelda Dao, told them that the coronavirus is still active as against the general perception, hence the need for everyone to take the measures seriously. Please, please and please, even though we think the COVID-19 is over, it is still not over. We can still contract it. So we should be observing the social distances. We should be using our face masks and we should be cleaning our hands very regularly. This year, as against all the years that we are performing the Children's Day, the president used to send a goodwill message to the children. But this year, it is different. We were ordered that every state should uh, make a speech towards what is happening in their state. So we are following the orders. We are again telling you about the COVID-19 because this is what is topmost in our priorities. Please observe what 
you are supposed to observe. Some of the students who spoke to Channel's television say observing the protocols has become habitual in their schools. We are following it because the face masks, the washing hand, all we are doing it, and the social distances, we are keeping it. Down south in Edo State, a cultural display of songs and dance to celebrate the children. A friendly football match by children in Owode, local government area of Edo State, also formed part of the activity to engage the children during the 2021 Children's Day celebration. <laughs> Children also had match fast and other activities. The chairperson of the Edo State Universal Basic Education Board thereafter assured the children of the state government's commitment to building them a solid foundation for a greater future. My message to the children of Edo State on this day of Children's Day 2021 is that um, to wish them a happy Children's Day to celebrate with them and to let them know that uh, we are very proud of them. We know that their parents are proud of them. The governor and the first lady, they are also very proud of their achievements at school, in um, co-curricular activities, as well as at home. And uh, I want to assure them that His Excellency Governor Godwin Norega Selbaseki is very much um, uh, willing and is going to continue to improve basic education so that their foundation would be solid. In Ogun State, however, in the spirit of the Children's Day celebration, many computers were presented to three students who excelled in an essay organized by the spouses of Ogun State Government Functionaries Association. Governor Dakwa Building there promised a review of the programs and policies that ensure children realize their innate and God-given potentials for a greater society. This celebration also affords us a glance to reiterate our decision's commitment to critical policies and programs that will enable our children to optimally realize their creative and productive potentials. The theme for this year's Children's Day celebration is investing in our future means investing in our children. This theme cannot be more apt and timely. Indeed, it is in consonance with our policies and programs under the Building Our Future Together mantra. This celebration is also a reminder that we must ensure that our policies and programs allow our children to optimally realize their creative and productive potentials. Here in Ogo State, we have mapped out a blueprint that will increase the social economic development of our dear state across all demographic groups. For our children, I'm happy to say that we are seeing the guarantee of an and a short future in our youth and children. And in Lagos, Governor Babajide Sonwolu celebrated with the children at the police college in Ikeja. Mr. Sonwolu inspected the parade by various public schools, the first of such in more than a year owing to the COVID-19 restrictions which prevented large gatherings and celebrations. Children, this is all about you. And this is why this thing was chosen. I must let you know that we are working tirelessly under our amiable governor, Mr. Babajide Olishwalasan Olu, to provide all that you meet so that you optimize your potentials. You are our future. You are our present and you give us more joy, but you are our future. And we see the future in all of you and the future does look bright. Nigeria accounts for more than one in five out-of-school children anywhere in the world. Although primary education is officially free and compulsory, only 67% of eligible children take up a place in primary school. Girls suffer more than boys in terms of missing out of education. In the northeast and northwest, 29% and 35% of the Muslim children, respectively, 
attend Quranic education, which does not include a basic education skill such as literacy and numeracy. Children stand a lower risk of contracting COVID-19, but they have been affected by the pandemic in one way or the other. As the children celebrate their day, it is expected that they get a happy childhood that will set them up for a better future. Every year, Children's Day presents us with an opportunity to reimagine the kind of world the present generation intends to bequeath to the children. And we hope this year's celebration has taught us a thing or two. As again, we want to wish every child out there a happy Children's Day. That's why we end the program. Join us next week for a fresh episode. Thank you for watching. I'm Jeffrey Uzongo.